Now he has created a, a fashion industry, a fashion line called Karashi. And why this is something so close to my heart is because me personally, I am someone that's overweight. And you go into, into clothing stores and I can't find my size. Or when I do find my size, it's not flattering. And you go, you think I'm going to buy myself clothes. This is such a nice experience. And you walk out there feeling so horrible about yourself. And it's so destructive, this, this clothing industry, because it, all the models in, in the shops are seen as very thin. You never see a plus sized woman. You never see the big sizes at the front of the rails. And here is a man who is saying, we don't need to live like this. We don't need to be using the fashion industry to further the problem and to further the issue. And he goes then and creates this fashion line. He goes and creates it with African prints, making scrubs, making school uniforms, and using fashion as a means for decolonization, for progression, for upliftment of society, and for creating a new image, a new image of ourselves, a new image of others. So from a personal perspective, Thank you, Sybil. Thank you for showing us that there is a different way, that clothing can uplift us as opposed to bring us down. I now give the platform for him to show us what it means to be in the fashion industry and how he has set new standards for body positivity. Thank you so much, Gabby, for that beautiful introduction. I mean, every I think just speaking up to you, you've already done such a great intro is making me feel good. And it's making me also be excited to speak to the woman in this video call, the woman who are watching from Facebook. I am a man who has always loved clothing that looks different. I've, I've loved clothing that makes me feel good because I, I grew up with a, a, a much bigger body. You know, when you grow up and your body is not looking like the rest of the, your friends in the classroom, I then realized that if I wear the clothing that looks like everybody else in my classroom, I end up looking, I, either the clothes are very tight and now my body is exposed and maybe my stomach is exposed, the wrong parts are exposed. So I grew up knowing that Actually, I like to just change it up a bit. If, I'm, if they say I'm supposed to wear size 12, I wear size 14 because it's much bigger and it's more comfortable. So I'm going to be talking about that. My, my experience of how uh, body positivity can really make you love the body that you're in, love who you are as a person, and can help you also combat some of the eating, disorder, eating disorders you can have as a person. So I have my notes here. And you know, and I'm somebody who used to go to church and the pastor would say the topic of today is. So with me and, and what I'll be sharing or what I'll be talking about, my biggest topic or what I want you to remember after I'm finished is be kind to yourself. I think that's the most beautiful and the most biggest thing we have to remember after today's training or after today's gathering is that be kind to yourself as a person because when you're yeah, kind, talking about be kind to yourself the first thing we always speak about or we hear a lot is uh self-love and people ask myself ask you how do you how do you self-love yourself or how do you love yourself and here look at yourself and look at the attributes that you have that you appreciate because once you start looking at the attributes of your body that you appreciate that's the little steps you take to self-love i'm going to give an example I grew up being chubby and everybody around me kept mocking me for being chubby and being fat. Uh, but I realized that, oh, but you know what? I have beautiful eyes. I have strong, healthy hair. I have beautiful teeth. I have a beautiful smile. And I started loving those things about myself. And me loving those things about myself helped me to just every day go into the world knowing and feeling that I'm beautiful. So this is a challenge to every woman who's here, every man who also could be listening and hearing this. Just take a minute and start appreciating something about yourself, something about you that you love about yourself. It could be really small. You could be having a beauty spot here, 
or you could be having the softest hands just first loving those hands or loving that something about yourself it's a great step to self-love because self-love is when you realize yourself you know that we realize uh, I, I like giving this example with teenagers teenagers when you're out, around 17 19 especially the women they almost wait for men to affirm them for a man to say wow you have a beautiful figure wow you have a beautiful smile and only then do they start believing those things and they start playing with those ideas that oh maybe i do have a nice ass or maybe i do have a nice stomach so i just want to say today whether you are young whether you are alone look at yourself in the mirror affirm yourself tell yourself damn though that i may not have a flat stomach but have you seen my curves have you seen my breast have you seen my skin so that is literally the best step into self-love and i mean as we are maybe the oldest generation when we speak to the younger generation from the house it literally starts from the house everything starts from the house when you see a kid growing up and you see they have healthy beautiful hair they have gorgeous skin beautiful teeth Again, affirm those children because if they hear it first from the house, it becomes more sorry, it becomes more powerful and they don't need another man or somebody who's a stranger on the streets to tell them how beautiful they are. I'm gonna move on to the next thing, which we talk about a lot, which is body positivity. What does positive body positivity mean and how can I be body positive? And I mean, I just I'm going to give a very short uh, uh, definition of body positivity. Body positivity is literally almost active. It's, a, it's activism. It's people like you and me showcasing our body, standing up and being like, this is my body. This is who I am. I was created by God. I love how I look like, and I'm here to stand. I'm going to walk into this boardroom where everybody looks very thin or everybody's wearing black suits. And I'm going to walk into this bedroom boardroom, not bedroom, boardroom with my colorful colors, with my, with my brilliance, that's body positivity. And I believe as, as, as the AMC Women's League, this is exactly what we should be doing with, uh, uh, with the images that you're posting on your social media, with the campaigns, ex exude that body positivity, show the young children that even somebody who has a body like this can be a role model of mine. I mean, right now we have uh, the president of the ANCU Women's League, who's mem uh, Comrade Batabile Jamini. Children growing up who are, who, who are looking up to the, they have, they're being inspired. That is body positivity that we're speaking about. So I'm going to challenge every woman who's here and remember, I think when we think of body positivity, we always look at it from one side, where it's about the big people or the, the bigger bodies. But remember, even the skinnier bodies, the smaller bodies need to be represented as well. So body positivity talks about different bodies, different shapes, uh, di some, some bodies could be disabled, some bodies may not be, uh, uh, you grow up not maybe you have a, 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 dis, a disorder or anything like that. So body positivity means representing all bodies and loving all bodies. And this is a challenge again to the ANC Women's League to be able to represent that all in their social media, in the committee and in all structures. Okay, I'm going to talk quickly about the two things that we always put the blame on them and I want to take the power back from them. There is a huge role from social media and the fashion industry where it almost tells people what they should look like, what they should wear and how they should dress. But I want to say us as Africans, we need to take, we need to tell our own narratives. And that's why with my clothing, I make clothes with mostly African print and because I want to celebrate the beauty of African prints, the beauty of how African prints can almost hide when somebody has a big stomach, when you have a big, big butt, but you don't want your big butt to show all of those things. So we as Africans, we as South Africans in particular, we are known about a Zulu woman having this body. There's, uh, even in the internet, everyone, you, if you just Google Z Zulu woman, there will be images that show you how Zulu women are looking like. And we as South Africans need to be taking pride of that, need to be 
me sending that message everywhere in our social media celebrating i know for example we have a celebrity who who's minenta i mean we we love her we celebrate her body how she looks like and this is how i say the role of social media and the role of the fashion industry is literally a western thing and something from america and we as africans are trying to copy that are trying to live with those standards and i think it's time we say actually no let's celebrate our own brands celebrate our own african prints our own designs and i think that's going to be one of our best i'm going to quickly finish by saying uh tips to dress for your body um as you dress for your body remember comfortability is important if you are not comfortable do not wear it if it's too tight do not wear it they always say fashion pain is beauty or fashion is beauty those are standards again from the western world or standards from the fashion industry and social media do not believe in that be comfortable be beautiful and feel amazing and remember my words today were be kind to yourself and i want to end my talk by saying be kind to yourself and love yourself thank you so much for having me to the chairperson of this committee and thank you thank you so much for that empowering words and talk and i think when we say that body positivity often people say these things but on a practical level no one knows how to create that in their life and when you emphasize be kind to yourself you know often we be so complimentary on others wow you look beautiful you're amazing to our friends to random people yet how often do we actually say that to ourselves how kind and loving are we to ourselves <laughs>